All right, we are working our way through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing and configuring Windows 10 in preparation for exam 70-698. We are up to exercise 10.2, which is configuring remote assistance. So we're going to go ahead and log into CL2 as a data administrator. Now we're already logged into DC1, which is our domain controller, and CL1 from a previous exercise. Okay, so I'm in CL2. We want to go to Control Panel, so I'm going to go ahead and right click. And go into Control Panel. Of course, I don't see it on here. Search. Control Panel. There's my control panel. Click it. <clears throat> All right, so from here we want to go into system and security and then launch remote assistance. Okay, in the system section, we want to click on Launch Remote Assistance. We want to invite someone you trust to help you. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, a firewall is blocking remote assistance connections that has been fixed. So now we'll go ahead and close this and try this again. And we want to save this invitation as a file. And now we want to navigate. to our network and save it to LON-CL1, I'm sorry, DC1 backslash software. And then save. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to open it up from here first. Hey, there is our path.
So we want to go here. L O N L O N dash D C one. Slash. Software. Software Okay, software and then save. Then you're going to want to write down the imitation password. And then go to CL1. And we're going to go into control panel. Click, search, control panel, I have to change this back to categories, system and computer, or I'm sorry, system and security, and I'm going to launch remote assistance. Let's click on system. So we want to launch a remote assistance, help someone who has invited you, and use an invitation file. And here we're going to navigate to our DC1. Software. Click on the invitation and click on open. Now we want to type in that password. And then OK.
So now we're going to go back to CL2. And click on yes to allow. Then go back to CL1. Now we're in the your helper can now see your desktop. Okay, if you are, if we should be on, yeah, we're on CL1. If you're required to do so, um, this would be where you would take your next screenshot showing that you now have access. So now we're, again, we're still on CL1. We want to click on the request control button located at the top of the screen. It's right here. And then we're going to click on yes. Oops. Go back to CL2 and click on yes. Go back to CL1 and now we have temporary control of CL2. Um, on CL1, we want to go ahead and click on the chat button. And type in hello. And then send. We're going to go over to CL2. Thanks for your help. Enter. Go back to CL1. Back on CL1. And you take your, again, if you're required to do so, this would be where you would take your next screenshot. So from here, we're going to click on Stop Sharing. And we're going to close any windows on CL1 and CL2. CL1, CL2. Okay, and that is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. The next exercise will be going over 10.3, which is manning a remote system using the Microsoft Management Console.